the pediatric uterus is significantly smaller than in the adult. The paravesical and pararectal spaces are developed. A complete bilateral pelvic lymph node dissection is performed. Here, the ureter is clearly visible. This is the dissected obturator space. The uterine vessels are identified at their origin from the hypogastric vessels bilaterally. Here, a Babcock clamp elevates the obliterated umbilical while a Kelly holds the transected round ligament. Once identified, the uterine arteries are divided and ligated. A Buxton clamp can manipulate the uterus. Care should be taken not to harm the cornu or uterovarian pedicles. Notice the IP ligaments are kept intact. The bladder is dissected caudal to the mid-vagina. Yellow vessel loops identify the ureters. The parametria and pericolpos with uterine vessels are mobilized medially with the specimen as shown here. A complete ureterolysis is performed bilaterally, similar to a type 2 radical hysterectomy. The bladder is further dissected caudal to the mid-vagina. A window is created in the broad ligament under the IP, which is in the surgeon's hand. Notice again that the infundibulopelvic ligaments are intact throughout the entire case. The posterior cul-de-sac peritoneum is incised. Notice how pink and viable the uterus looks after ligating both uterine arteries. Once the posterior cul-de-sac peritoneum is completely incised, the uterosacral ligaments are clamped and transected bilaterally. Each pedicle is suture ligated. A Wertheim clamp can be placed at the desired length of vagina. The bladder pillars are further dissected off the vaginal margin. Clamps are placed below the Wertheim, denoting the distal or remaining vaginal margin. The specimen is then separated from the vagina. Notice that the fundus is the size of the surgeon's thumb. The uterine fundus with preserved attachments to the uterovarian ligaments is placed in the superior part of the pelvis. The vaginal cuff angles are closed, first the left side, followed by the right side. The trachelectomy specimen is prepared. A clamp stretches the parametria while the trachelectomy specimen is skeletonized with the bovi. Once skeletonized, the lower uterine segment is estimated. Clamps are placed at the internal os. The parametria along the trachelectomy specimen is highlighted with outstretched clamps. These pedicles are each transected and suture ligated.